Let's just say I royally screwed up my hammock. What's going on guys, John Kelly here and today I'm going to talk to you about the three mistakes I made when I first started learning how to set up my hammock. But before I get into that, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you find out anytime one of these videos are dropped and if you like the video, give it the old thumbs up. In 2018, I was given a hammock for Christmas. It was an Outdoor Vitals 10 foot hammock and I was also given the sock that you pull over it to use as a bug net. Uh, got the opportunity to use it a couple times and I realized the hammock was a little short, I was getting calf ridge, uh, the sock was nearly impossible to work with, it was just not the best setup for what I wanted. I was also working with a really inexpensive hammock tarp, uh, my suspension was basically me tying stuff up, it was just a big mess and so I decided that I was going to step it up to the big time and get some real hammock equipment. So I went out and bought a Darien by Dream Hammock, a fantastic hammock with a built-in bug net, really nice 11 foot hammock, nice and wide, should have been sleeping really well in it. I got Dutch clips and straps and beetle buckles. Mr. Backpacking with Jason Sir told me this is what you need to get for your hammock. So that's what I got. I also got my hands on a UGQ tarp, the Winter Dream, that I bought for it with the Ridgeline. Everything was set up. I had the under quilt from Outdoor Vitals, it was a 15 degree. I had a top quilt from Enlightened Equipment, it was a 20 degree quilt. I was basically set up for the fall, ready to go do some backpacking with a hammock. The problem is, I didn't have a clue what I was doing with any of this gear. And worse than that, I decided to make a video about all of my gear that I had just gotten. Let's just say the video did all right, but in retrospect, I kinda wish I hadn't done the video. If you wanna watch the video after this, I'll make sure there's a link in the description so you can check it out and you can take some time to make fun of me in the comments. I got, I got a strong back, I can handle it. Specifically, there were three mistakes that I made and I'm gonna talk about those three mistakes. The first one was simple. It was setting up the suspension. In specific, I'm talking about the Dutch clips. I didn't know what I was doing. I actually turned the Dutch clips the wrong way and pushed them through the webbing. They actually punctured the webbing. Luckily, the webbing hasn't been destroyed or anything as a result of it, uh, and I may, I've been able to use it since then, but I really risked the opportunity of screwing up that webbing. It was such a huge mistake that Dutch himself left me a message on the video shooting me a link on how to properly use Dutch clips. The next mistake that I made in the video was not knowing how to properly hang my underquilt. Uh, that night when I slept, I had a cold butt, but I had a 15 degree underquilt and it only got down into the 50s. So something's wrong with the quilt, right? No, the problem was mine. I didn't know what I was doing setting it up and I didn't have the quilt in a place where it was sitting snug up against my backside and against my back when I was sleeping. There was a huge gap between the hammock and the underquilt, and as a result, I slept chilly that night. Needless to say, I've learned my lesson, and I now know how to set up the hammock the correct way with the underquilt tightened up to it to give me great insulation when I go to sleep at night. The third mistake I made when I set up my hammock was not knowing how to set up my tarp properly. I didn't quite know yet just how to get the tarp set up so that it was sitting nice and solid so that when wind would come, it wouldn't constantly flap, where it wouldn't pull itself loose. I had that thing so loose that it was just kind of waving in the wind, and there was a little bit of wind that night, and all I heard was flapping the entire time. It made it nearly impossible to sleep. Well, that and my cold butt. Let's just say, if you're going to make a video on how to use a hammock system, or you're gonna make a video on how to set up your tarp or show off the gear that you have, it's probably a good idea that you know what you're doing in advance. I didn't, I was still fairly new to this whole YouTube thing, and I made a video that I'm not necessarily proud of, but I'm not gonna take it down because this whole YouTube thing has been a journey of me learning how to do all this stuff anyways. So let me leave you with this. If you're new to hammock camping, really do your research and know how to set your gear up 
and expect yourself to screw up a couple times. Expect yourself to do it wrong. You're gonna set up poorly several times. It wasn't until just a couple months ago when I had the full blown, aha, this is how I set up my hammock moment. And I really am able to sleep unbelievably comfortable. And not just unbelievably comfortable, but in such a way where I have no doubts that everything I've set up is gonna be fine. I was just in the Red River Gorge a few weeks ago and I was able to sleep confidently during a horrible downpour because now I know how to set my gear up. It's so vital that you understand how to properly set up your gear, if for anything, so you don't damage it. So that you don't spend all this money only to have to replace it later on because of not knowing how to set it up properly. So what mistakes have you guys made when you're setting up your hammock? Have you screwed up and destroyed your gear? Have you set it up in such a way that you slept cold or you didn't even sleep at all because you were just so uncomfortable? What things have you learned using a hammock and how did you fix your problems? Leave those messages down below. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing. Also, if you haven't already, go over to Instagram and check me out on Instagram. The address is right up here. Check out all the pictures from trips I'm going to and updates from the Backpacking Podcast. We're doing live streams every single Monday night, as well as putting out audio podcasts during the week. So be sure to check those out. And until next time, stay strong, hike long, and I'll catch you on the next go around. I already owned it. Did not get a UGQ top quilt. And set, uh, let me do that again. You've ever, uh, I don't like this. I don't like it. Let's do it again. Oh,